Harry and Meghan were out and about last night at a Veterans Day gala in New York City. They're back on the front pages here this morning because it was revealed yesterday that Meghan has apologised to the Court of Appeal about her involvement with the writers of the biography Finding Freedom after leaked texts proved that she did, in fact, cooperate with the authors. Well, our royal editor, Russell Myers, joins me now. Why, why on earth would they do this? Why on earth would they say that they didn't cooperate with a book when they did? It doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Good morning, Lorraine. Well, an absolutely extraordinary day at the Court of Appeal yesterday, and as you've just uh, outlined, and the front pages are screaming this morning that Meghan uh, has had to apologise to the court, uh, uh, astonishingly, for failing to remember a series of conversations and a series of text messages and emails that pointedly uh, go to the fact that she did indeed cooperate with the authors of the Finding Freedom um, biography. Now, Harry and Meghan have always said, notably through their lawyers, it must be said, that they did not cooperate, they didn't collaborate with the authors. However, uh, Meghan emailed a series of five points, a uh, series of reminders to a former aide to uh, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, a man called Jason Canalf, who has given a witness statement to the Court of Appeal. Now, I'll just read you some of Meghan's apology. And she said, I did not have the benefit of seeing these emails and I apologise to the court for the fact that I had not remembered these exchanges at the time. Now, this is at its, uh, at its very least fairly embarrassing, but this could mean that uh, the, the, the Mail on Sunday who brought this case uh, to, to, to the Court of Appeal because they had lost a previous judgment, um, because they'd been found to, uh, to, 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 to have printed this, uh, this letter to um, uh, Meghan's father, that uh, they've lost his case against privacy, uh, and so it could go back to court now. It's, it's baffling to me that if you're going to take a newspaper to court, you have to be absolutely rock solid. And I know it was about the letter, but there's more things coming out about this, this letter that, um, that she, she sent to her dad, calling him daddy, and there's lots of things that are coming out now. I wonder why it's not... It didn't come out beforehand, though. It seems really strange, the timing. Well, the, the, the two issues here are not only because of the, the, the book, and this is proving uh, quite embarrassing, and it may point to the fact that uh, Meghan has been potentially economical with the truth, but she, the, the, the reason this case was brought by Meghan is because she believed that the Mail on Sunday in printing five articles from a letter that she'd wrote to her father uh, were against her privacy and her data protection. Now, the Mail on Sunday was found to have uh, acted illegally in those points, uh, and now we're seeing that the fact that Meghan's uh, exchanges with her uh, communication secretary, Jason Canalf, uh, pointed to the fact that she did believe that this letter would come into the public sphere. She said to him, um, given I have only ever called him daddy, it may make sense to open as such, despite him being less than paternal. And in the unfortunate event it leaked, it would still pull at the heartstrings. And now, Megan continued in one of her ex email exchanges and texts to Jason Canalf, obviously everything I have drafted is with the understanding that it could be leaked. So I have been meticulous in my word choice, but please let me know if anything stands out to you as a liability. Now, there was another 22-page witness statement from Megan where she is saying, essentially, that regardless of whether I thought that this may end up in the public domain, it wasn't my intention that it would uh, essentially be his right to put it into a newspaper. So it's got particularly very, very messy. I think you see the headlines today. There are people uh, saying that... Um, uh, Megan is a little misforgetfulness. I mean, this is something that the Court of Appeal judges will have to decide on whether this goes back to the High Court now and, uh, and whether we do actually see a full trial between Meghan Markle and, uh, and her father, Thomas, which would be absolutely explosive. It just all seems really unnecessary, Russell. You know, I mean, they didn't have to take that action. Um, against the mail on Sunday. It, it was at the time everyone said, well, this is extraordinary. You know, members of the royal family don't usually do that. And I know that they're kind of not quite royal. Half, we don't really know how to describe them. It just seems really, yeah, just unnecessary, actually. And particularly coming, I mean, we talked about this yesterday when she was saying that the tabloid press were toxic and needed a warning and, and all of that. It just seems such a mess. 
Well, that, that, that's a big issue, isn't it? Because just this week, we've had Harry and Meghan speaking on different platforms about the toxicity of the tabloid press. Meghan saying that it should come with a health warning. Harry saying that uh, the, the press are pirates with a press card and talking about the, uh, the fact that uh, they're not to be trusted. Now, this is in a, a court of law that Meghan and Harry have been deemed to have been colluding, essentially, with the authors of that book that they said in court and have said throughout their lawyers time and time again that there was no con uh, contribution to that book, no collaboration. So if they are being economical with the truth in that sense, how much more is there to this case? Well, you keep saying that to me, we keep saying it to each other. There's going to be a, lo a lot more to this. It's, it just seems quite... Well, bizarre, I think is the word. Thank you so much, Russell. Thank you for Thanks now. Around. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.